let's have a look at this problem. 725 times three. So that means we have three groups of 725, which we've laid out here. Again, we can represent this problem using our concrete materials as I've done, but also using our rectangle. So if I draw my rectangle, three lots of 725, we partition into each of our places here. So we're going to have 700 plus 20 plus our five. Partitioning it using place value just as we had done when we represented it. So we've got five ones, two tens, and seven hundreds. That's why it's good to use the cards to visualize it and go back to if the student needs it. So now we have three rectangles or three sums that we can do to give us our big rectangle. And we add each of these rectangles together to get the solution. So three times five is our first rectangle. You may want to put three over this side as well where it's closer so the student can see it. Um, if you need to use grid, you could use grid under there as, as well. But three times five is 15, so I'll write that down. The next one is three times 20, which is 60. If you need to um, develop that skill rather than just saying three times two is six and you add a zero. Please avoid that at all costs if you can. It's an oversimplification. It's a rule that doesn't make sense unless you really understand place value. So build that understanding of place value before giving that little trick. Three lots of 20. Let's add an extra one there. 20, 40, 60, they can skip count. They can add them all together to see that there are, in fact, six lots of 10 there. So we can write down our 60. And finally, our three times 700 is gonna be 2,100. Again, if they're having difficulty, you can say we've got seven hundreds plus another seven hundreds will give us fourteen hundreds plus another seven hundreds will give us twenty one hundred or two thousand one hundred. So we write that down and we can see that we are adding our three rectangles to give us our large rectangle, which is our, our problem. 725 times three. So we add the rectangles together. Five plus zero plus zero is five. One plus six plus zero is seven. We have nothing to add to that 100 there and nothing to add to the 2000. It takes a little bit of extra time because you're writing three steps rather than just going straight to the one step, which is often a method shown but it's um, quite complicated. I think it's worth having a look. So then uh, if we're doing it as one step, listen to the language that you often will use as a teacher, but it's using shortcuts because you're familiar with it. So often we'll say three times five is 15, put down the five and carry the one. In fact, we're carrying one 10. Three times two, it's not three times two, it's three times two tens or 20. So three times two tens gives us six tens plus one is seven tens or 70. And then three times seven or seven hundreds is 21 hundreds. And we write that down. But it's this notation that causes 
students' confusion. And it's also the fact that we're multiplying and adding as we go. We're adding the 15 to the 60 to the 2100. And that's quite complicated. Start with this. Once they're confident, they can move to the short 